So, hi everyone. Okay, so I'm here to help you out in case you've had problems with the Model 24. Let me show you what I've figured out about it. Uh, well, where do we start? If you're watching this video, your problem might be that you want to use it, well, as just an interface to get straight to the computer, so you got like your 16 channels into the computer, but then you got to be able, you know, like to the DAW, to Reaper or something. But then you have to be able to play it back through the Model 24 to um, hear all your music like you normally would or whatever, like, you know. Usually what you would do is like on your Model 24, like you got the Bluetooth channel, you know, which is like right here, this Bluetooth channel here. Usually that thing is what you kind of Bluetooth your computer to get, you know, audio from your computer to be playing out of the Model 24 to get it playing out of your headphones. But, um... For some reason, the uh, Reaper doesn't go over Bluetooth. I don't think it does. If it does, that would be cool. But Reaper, when it comes through the USB cable, it like wants to be in a different... How do I say this? It's confusing, I know. This is why you can't get it to work, and this is why you're watching this video. So, um, yeah, so forget about getting um, Reaper Bluetooth over. But what you can you can still use this Bluetooth channel to um, to listen back to your, you know, the Reaper like this. Watch what I'll do here. Watch what I'll do here. Well, first of all, I'll show you how um, I actually am going into Reaper right here. You see? There's the Reaper right there. Boom, going in. So it's coming back out of the Reaper. And uh, let's see here. Can I do this? No. That's me moving. I don't want that. Yeah, it's this one. So, okay, here's our Bluetooth channel. You see that whole channel strip there? That thing right there, up there? Up there? Uh, this thing? Where is it? That, that thing needs to be turned to PC. That's the first thing, you know. That's to get audio to play back. We'll, we'll get to how to like actually get audio in there afterwards. But like, if you already have other stuff recorded on Reaper, try this out. You know, select that thing to PC, and then uh, go to Reaper, and go to your master bus and if you click on the routing button it'll bring this up by default it's going to be out one out two we want to change this to 21 and 22 like i have it here i wasn't able to change it so what i did is i deleted it and then i created a new hardware output and then that gives you the choice to make it this so if i select if i was to select that it would give me this new hardware output. So now this is being routed out to 21 and 22 of of the uh, model 24. And as you can see, if I am to uh, so it's on this fader now. So if I turn this up or down, 
Watch. My voice is going to go away like this. See? No more voice. So it's on... It's on this Bluetooth channel now, which is good because we want to use all the other channels as inputs for, um, for microphones, you know? So the microphone I'm talking on right now is going into input two, as you can see. Um, it doesn't matter if it's muted or not, and I'll show you. If I mute this, you can still hear me because it's all going in pre-fader. It's going into Reaper pre-fader. So by default, it wants me to use these two um, inputs for, um, see, look, and if I take this down, nothing. See, it's pre-fader. But if I were to take my, my gain down over here, watch this. My gain for ch channel two, watch. Drop it. It's coming back. See, so it only gets from that gain. I don't know if it does compression. Let's test it. Hey, compression, compression, compression. Ta test, 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 test. I don't think the compression does anything. Sorry if that was annoying. So it just takes whatever, excuse me, is going through that gain knob. Right. So now here's the other thing is how do you, um, if you can't get the sound to work in the first place, like I have here, like I have up here, the sound is getting into there. If you can't get that in there in the first place, then, uh, and you've done all the other things, like watch, we'll go to options. First thing you do, options and preferences, or you can hit control P. But if I click this, my audio is gonna go away because um, it's coming through. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, watch, the audio will go away. And then to make it come back up, I'm gonna switch to the other screen with the, uh, the task cam. To make it come back up, I'm actually gonna use this, uh, the channel two. So I'll unmute it right now. And then um, you can't see it, but on my other screen, I'm going to um, options and preferences. And when I hit preferences, the volume's gonna go out. But then when I click these, when I click these two buttons, which I'll get to in a second, you're gonna hear, and then I'll f push the fader up, you're gonna hear my volume come back in. So here we go. I'm gonna hit preferences, uh, which I'll show you preferences just so you can see it. So I'm gonna hit uh, options and then watch, you're gonna hear my voice go away. Voice is gonna go away. back see so now I'm bypassing Reaper right now basically uh, which the way I'm doing that is um, coming back well how am I doing that oh well it's because these the sub button is pressed in and and so it's sending this fader which if it's muted See, the muting actually does affect it in this case, as well as well as the fader. But if I, um, the sub is in, so the sub is what's sending it to, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, you get it? So the sub is sending it to uh, the sub fader, which is over here, Whoa, right here, the sub fader. And then the sub fader feeds out to, if you can see straight up, right up here, there's the sub, uh, sub out. 
right and left. Sub output right in there, buried. And then uh, out of the sub output, that right and left is going into this two channel USB mixer uh, because it's a separate, yeah, separate whatever mix or channel or coming out to this USB mixer. And so this USB mixer is also going into my computer, the same little laptop over there. And it's, uh, and that's what's going to OBS. That's how I'm recording the whole separate mix to OBS. So you can route these around. And as well as this too, um, when my Reaper is, we're not hearing it through Reaper, we're bypassing it, but when it is, the Reaper is there, these two are in because I want, I want to be hearing it myself and I want the sub fader, you know, this channel to also be hearing it to send it over to that other mixer. And then now I don't have to use the Restream plugin, which is cool because it, I don't know if that takes more CPU, but I'm short on CPU here. So I don't have to do that. And then, um, what else? So there's my preferences screen, by the way. So I'll go and show you some stuff on the preferences since you can hear me. But uh, this is how to set it up to get the, uh, you know, the voice to be in there also uh, with the, let's see. Or no, this is, this is to get the uh, interface to, uh, connect it so you can actually get audio into this thing, which we're not getting right now. We will in a second, but this should all look like this, basically, if you're using this task cam. You have to have this software in, which you download from the TIAC website. Um, and then, yeah, you install this software on the computer, you know, plug in and it'll read it or you plug in the 24 to the computer and it'll read it. And then this thing comes up. I just set it at this, this is your, uh, latency. And then, uh, so if it's at four, it's, that's the least latency possible, but it takes more CPU. So I heard a guy say it, recommend it just here if your computer's not the best and it kind of is a nice average. So, and that corresponds with this right here, block size. These should be, you want these to be matching for sure. And then the other thing is whatever your sample rate you're working at is 44. In this case, you change that to whatever you're working at. And the important thing is you gotta click this. You have to click, this has to be checked. My, by default, mine wasn't checked. <clears throat> and so I wasn't, I was doing everything right, but this wasn't checked requesting this sample rate because maybe I changed some stuff or I don't know, but I clicked that and then I hit apply and it worked, you know? But yeah, all these should be set how, how they're here for the Model 24. Output range is 1 to 22. In, input range is uh, this. And then enable inputs should probably be checked as well. So yeah, you hit apply. Mine's already applied, so I'll hit OK. And now... Look, I just had to kill that other um, microphone input, you know, channel 2 which was this one right here. I just, I just uh, killed these two right here. Because otherwise, look, you hear double. Hey, check, double? Double, is it double? It seems pretty, pretty doubly, right? Yeah, no double and then pretty doubly. See, so that's my second. There's two different feeds coming in right here. I only use this one to talk to you in preferences though. So yeah, once you get there, then, then you uh, right click on the channel that you want the uh, mic to go into. And in this case, we'll do an input mono. And look, I have it set on uh, input two, which is this. So once that's selected, 
this should be, you should be getting some, and this also has to be red. If it's not red, you're not going to get anything. Or wait, sorry, I didn't show you. Let me show you. Yeah, this needs to be red. I think I missed the other step too to show you. Hang on. Sorry about that. This needs to be red. If it's not red, then nothing's picking up if it's not red. But what I missed to show you was this, because I was, I was on the wrong screen. You right click that, which is the little red recording button. Go down, input, and right here, uh, input mono in this case, like I said. Um, input two is what we have it because we're going on to input two in this thing right here, this whole second channel. Input two. So, yeah. So that's the whole deal, you know? And then, um, you know, the, the little switches at the very top up here, these little ones, those should be to uh, PC, or this one should be to PC, to be able to grab whatever's put back here or to be able to grab uh, what's in the computer. And then all the rest of them, all these, the same switches at the top need to be set to, uh, to live. So you can see all mine are set to live. That makes it go in, you know, like into the, um, to the task cam. Now the thing that's weird about it that I don't like is that like, when I want to listen to something on the computer, like YouTube or some video that I just recorded, it won't just play back through this PC thing. I think, I guess the whole like, whatever is being taken up by um, the, uh, all the space is being taken up by the ASIO, dri the ASIO driver or whatever it's called um, within there, so I don't know, but when I want to listen to something, I'll click it. I'll click that thing over to live, you know, um, this thing right here. Where is it? Yeah, this little bad boy. So this little thing, I'll I'll click that over to live, right? Like right here, and then I can listen to what's on the. Uh, like YouTube or whatever, through through that fader, you know, this one. But then what happens is that it still picks up these mics from channel channel one and two, the channel one and two mics. They're the only ones that still kind of bleed through. So that's something I still have to figure out. I don't know what the deal is on that. But that's all the stuff that I figured out and man, let me tell you, it was hard. Uh, it took me a couple of years, and there's no video that like was telling it. Like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I just missed a step from a video, or or no, no video was really talking about routing it in this way. I don't know. So yeah, um, I hope it's been a helpful video and um, if you have any questions about it please leave in the comments because I'll answer and um, yeah and as I figure out other cool things to do with this thing I'll make some other videos that'll be helpful hopefully Anyway, have a good night.